Da, 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 da. What's good word, guys? Matt McCoy, Acoustic Selection. I hope you're doing well. God's doing big things in your life. Thank you for joining me for the 40 days of four chord worship. What we're going, what we're doing right now in this whole season is going through all 40 songs in my four chord worship song book volume one. Remember, all these songs use four chords, G, C, E minor, and D. So what I want to do is show you how you can play thousands and thousands of worship songs using those four chords. But more than that, I want to grow your relationship with the Lord. I want to use the lyrics or something that, that happens within these songs to draw us closer to God. So I want to pray and just ask God to bless this time. Father, I don't know what young girl, young guy, what grandfather, grandparent, brother, sister, uncle, aunt, I don't know who's watching this. I want to ask a special blessing on their life right now, Father. We have so we are, there's in this life there's so many struggles. You know that, Father. You're well aware of that. But we know you're the one who ho holds the whole world in your hands. Please bless this time and cause us to get more of the Holy Spirit and more of you. Help us to praise you for it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love this song. This is this is a fun little fact. This is one of the first songs I ever taught on YouTube. So like 15 years ago, I posted this, got some decent feedback, and then kind of snowballed into, into what it is today. For the verses, you're going to you know, keep the bottom two strings locked to the third fret, fourth and fifth. You're going to C to G, E minor, D. It goes. Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failed. Let mercy fall on me And everyone needs forgiveness The kindness of a Savior The hope of nations Your CD, CD Now the chorus is going GD It says Savior Course you're just going G, D, C, G, and E minor, D. When I hear this song, I think of one of my favorite verses that you hear me quote all of the time. If you don't have this memorized, make sure your takeaway for this video, God put this in my heart to tell you, so here you go, is to memorize Romans chapter 10, verse 13. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Apostle Paul's writing this in his letter to the Romans. Whosoever, that means you, that means me, anyone, Jew, Gentile, whoever, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, that's their Savior, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, shall be saved. So many people, they just think of that verse as salvation, meaning you are lost, you call upon the Lord, now you're found and you're a believer. With anything, guys, if, when we call upon the name of Jesus, you get the creator of everything involved, intertwined, tethered to your life. That's what we want in our decisions, in our thought life, in our anxieties, with our careers, with our relationships, with everything. We want us and Jesus to be tethered together in one. Whosoever shall call upon his name, God, I need you. I love the other Bible verse, so simple. I teach this to my boys all the time. Cast your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. I love that because it's like a fishing line. Just cast it. Just do it. You don't have all the answers. You don't even know. Just cast the cares upon the Lord. He cares for you. Have you called upon the name of the Lord and asked him to save you today? Save you from your health scare? Save you from your financial situation, your relationship problems, whatever it is? Are you calling on him today? He is mighty to save, as the song says. Everyone needs compassion. Love is never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a savior. The hope of nations. He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. You know what it says in the Bible in another part in the Gospels? With faith the size of a mustard seed, we can move mountains. Think about that. Faith the size of a mustard seed. He doesn't say like if you muster up 10 years of all your faith of you and everyone around you and gather them together, you can possibly 
get God's to bend his ear towards you, it says, guys, faith the size of a mustard seed can move a mountain because God just speaks things into existence. He spoke this whole world into existence. You think he can't handle what the little struggle is in your life, your health scare, your financial problems, your situation with this relationship or this thing that's worrying you all the time? You think God can't handle it? The God and creator of the entire universe that spoke everything into existence with just his words, boom. You think he can't handle your problem? You can't think he can't handle my problem? Satan wants to distract us. He wants to make us doubt. He wants to discourage us. He wants us to feel just disconnected from God like we don't have access to him, that we, we can't bring our problems to God. But the Bible says in Romans 10, 13, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I hope that preaches to someone. Because it goes, Shine your light, let the whole world see. Sing it for the glory of the risen King. Jesus. I love that. C-G-D. Shine your light and let the whole world see. Sing it for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see. Sing it for the glory of the risen King. Guys, we serve a big God who is mighty to save. Cast your cares upon him today. He cares for you. Thank you for all tuning in. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I love you, but like I always say, more importantly, God loves you. And he hears you. And he knows. And he cares. And he's able to handle all of your anxieties. All of your cares. So cast them on him. I love you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed, I would sure appreciate it. If you did so, it would mean the world to me. And I'll keep you in my prayers. Please keep me in your prayers as well. I'll see you tomorrow for 40 Days of Worship. God bless you. Let's go.